we have a large scale bunny girl figure today. Her name's Rio, made by one of the companies which specializes in bunny girls, Binding. She's made in one quarter scale and is around 25 centimeters in her sitting pose. If she looks familiar, it might be because she's based on an illustration by Mataro, who has a distinctive art style. Rio has a stablemate, Yukino, which was released around the same time. Yukino is, of course, also designed by Mataro, though I don't find that the two would display particularly well together. Even Binding didn't bother taking photos of the two displayed together. Rio comes with very few accessories. She comes with two sets of bikini tops for her breasts, a removable underwear, and a clear tail support. The figure does not come with a base, which is a slight disappointment. We'll talk about the clothing pieces later, but the tail support is just a small stand that can help hold some of the weight at the tail. It's supposedly height adjustable, but it's just a friction system with a circular pole and a hexagonal hole. Rio's bunny ears have an interesting shape and are painted in a very nice glossy metallic purple. It might be difficult to see, but there are metallic specks in the paint. The highlight painting is great, especially at the edges of the bunny ears. Her hair looks reasonable. There's good sculpting at the strands at the ponytail, but I would have liked to see a bit more here. The front bangs look great with good detail. Her purple hair ties look pretty good too. The top of her head is a bit barren though, I think a bit more detail could be done here. One thing that I cannot complain about is the painting on the hair. The shadow painting looks great and adds depth. There are a few air bubbles in the plastic here and there, but nothing too serious. Her face is done well. The eyes are very nicely printed on. Her mouth has the teeth sculpted as well, and overall it really matches the illustration. One thing the illustration doesn't really show are her ears though. But I think the figure's ears could be sculpted with a little bit more detail, especially since it's such a large scale figure. Her collar has some nice detail painting, with the standout being the little frilled edges. The white area is a pearlescent white paint, which is great. Though detail wise, I think some fabric folds here would have made it look better. Rio's gloves are done in the same glossy metallic purple, and I guess it's supposed to replicate leather. The frills on the edge of the gloves look nice and are actually done in a clear purple plastic, which is a great little detail. The gloves themselves are a bit meh. I would have preferred some fabric folds on the gloves to make it a little bit more interesting. The white cuffs are a different paint to the collar. I thought it would be the same pearl white paint, but this is just white matte paint. The cuff has almost no detail, with the buttons simple black paint only. There is the slightest of the shadow painting, but overall the cuffs are disappointing. And the choice of using a different white paint here is a little bit puzzling as well. At least her hands are sculpted well with individual fingers for both hands. They look dynamic, especially her left hand pose. Her skin tone looks good, with great shadow painting all over, especially in the grooves and crevices. Though the illustration does have a redder skin tone overall. Rio's bunny suit is beautiful, with the straps at the front looking especially good. The bunny suit wraps around back and ends at the bunny tail. The tail looks fine, but I think it needs some shadow painting to bring out the details. Which brings us to the anatomical details, and that is a strong point on this figure. The abs area looks great under the straps, with the skin being squeezed out along the straps and I especially like the ribs sculpted just below the breasts. Her breasts are very sphere shaped, but fits with the art. Her back has some good details too, with good shadow painting along the well defined shoulder blades. The nice anatomical details go down to her thighs, and this part might even be better. Her thick thighs are so well sculpted, and really gives that feeling of heft. The shape is natural and the folds in the skin along the muscles really add to the realism. Her butt has a good shape, though it's nothing spectacular. Rio's stocking are of course real fabric, and have realistically sized mesh. The frills are in that clear purple plastic again, which is good that this matches her gloves. 
Underneath the stockings, her calves and knees are well done, with good muscle definition and squeeze. The high heels are there, and as usual, don't have too much detail. They're passable, and that's pretty much what we expect. One thing I found strange though is that the toes of her shoes are very rounded on the figure, whereas the drawing implies that they should be a little bit more pointed. Ryo's bunny top can be switched out with the other pair, which reveals her breasts. It's just a simple peg system, and it works really well. Her nipples have good detail, and is painted in a pink highlight. Binding chose to use a semi-gloss paint on the nipples, which is a weird choice. After removing the bunny tail, her underwear piece can also be easily removed, as it's held purely by friction. There's not much to see under that though. There's okay detail sculpted in her crotch area, but again, Binding picked a weird choice for color. They used a much brighter pink than the nipples, which I think is a bit much. Personally, I think I'd stick with the covered versions of both. I think the shape of the breasts physically makes more sense if they're being held in by the bunny suit. And since the details at the crotch area isn't great, it's better to leave the underwear piece on too. This figure isn't a masterpiece by any means. I'd say Ryo is an above average figure in Binding's lineup. We like how it replicates the illustration well, and she really grew on me as we did the review. The MSRP for this figure is 26,000 yen, which is a few thousand yen cheaper than the usual binding prices. Secondhand prices fluctuate around there, and at that price, I think it's a little bit overpriced. If this were around the 20,000 yen mark, then it would be a much better buy. But if you're a fan of Ataro's illustrations, which we are, this is a very good choice compared to some of the other brand's figures based on his art. Music